hey hey how are you doing this is Vicky all right so in today's video like you've already read from the title I am going to be sharing with you best feminine hygiene hacks how to keep your down below your hood hat to smell good and taste good you'll be asking how should my down below how should my cat how should my girl down there smell good or taste good you know some people complain or you hear people saying some ladies smell like fish or some ladies stinks or some ladies their hoo-ha stinks and all that and you're wondering oh my down below my baby girl down below stinks or sometimes if you have a friend or a colleague or someone you know that you feel that he had down below stinks you probably wouldn't know how to tell that person that ah you're down there stinks you understand personally i i will really feel embarrassed you understand i don't even think i can tell someone and even if i'm being told i really feel embarrassed not because that person means any harm but the fact that i just start living with ah uh, so i have been stinking all along you know it really doesn't make you feel all right so in today's video i'm going to be teaching you or i'm going to be sharing my personal hacks with you guys how to keep your hoo-ha you down below your i don't want to mention the name but okay the vagina smelling and tasting good that's the hack the number one hack i want to be sharing with you guys are your undergarments shouldn't be too tight in as much as a lot of people like wearing g-strings some tongues and feeling sexy and all that your undergarments shouldn't be too tight because when your undergarment is too tight it doesn't give your baby girl down there the space to breathe it traps in moisture when it's too tight it traps in moisture and moisture is absolutely the breeding ground for bacteria and yeast infection so you wouldn't want to give yourself go through that stress or you wouldn't want to um, um, have yourself start smelling like fish or start thinking or start you know now it really doesn't smell nice I don't know or it really doesn't feel nice or it really doesn't make sense so number one is try not to put on a very tight undergarment your under your pants shouldn't be too tight preferably your pants should be pure cotton in as much as all of us want to be sexy and feel sexy and you know be like sexy sexy with tongues and all that the preferable undergarment should be a pure cotton undergarment to give your down below space to breathe all right now the second hack i want to give to you guys or this the second hygiene best feminine hygiene i want to give to you guys i want to tell you guys is your pubic hair yeah some people for some reason like keeping their pubic hair for reasons best known to them maybe they like it that way or their guys or their husbands their boyfriend their fiancés like it that way but it's if if you have, if you ask me i prefer down there to be clean and smooth or shaved but if you really be someone that prefers down there to be bushy or to be hairy or your guy your husband prefers it to be that way i will advise you trim it because the hair on your pubic area traps in moisture and moisture like i said is a breeding ground is, is a breeding ground for yeast and bacteria infection so you don't want the hair down there to trap in moisture and then it starts breeding bacteria and your hoo-ha starts stinking and inconveniencing others you really might not know that it's inconveniencing others but yeah for those of you who know that you're down there your girl down there your your, your you know your cat down there stinks this is one of the things you should do to rescue yourself from such and then the third one i'll be sharing with you guys is i will advise that you sleep without an undergarment down there just allow your down below to breathe guy babe girl allow it to breathe you've been wearing panties all day you've been wearing what have you all day so i will advise you sleep without 
the panties on just to allow don't you do you know how how if it has mouth to speak i know it will be so excited when it feels that cold breeze or fresh air or some cool air entering into it and making it feel like oh i'm alive kind of thing and please i would advise that you sleep without your under garment just to allow your down below to breathe for some hours before you wake up and start suffocating it again that, those, that is one of the reasons that eliminate the bad smell from your down there yeah and then the next point i want to be giving you guys have you heard of this this um phrase you are what you eat oh yes it is absolutely right you don't think that when you eat garlic um onions and how do you think you'll be smelling you'll be smelling awesome yeah you'll be smelling awesome but when you take fresh veggies vegetables fruits and berries and things like that it's expected that you start smelling down you start smelling cool down there because your body sense tends to it's just like when you eat onions you know when you talk to someone you you the person sm smells this foul or the sour um, breath you understand so it's the same way you eat more of vegetables drink lots of water and try as much as to inculcate your eating habit you should inculcate eating a lot 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 of vegetables into your eating habits let us learn to adjust learn to adjust just to help you from not stinking like fish or maybe what something else because i know yes thinking like fish is as a result of bacterial infection or yeast whichever one it is but eating lots of vegetables drinking lots of water helps flush your system detoxifies your system and keeps you and your down below and your hoo-ha smelling very fresh and tasting nice as well don't ask me how it's going to be tasted because you and i know how it's be tasted all right guys and then the next point i want to be giving you guys is after intercourse you have to get up and go and take a shower yes as much as it is tempting to just cuddle and sleep it is not advisable after you have gone down with your man it is advisable you get up and take a shower because you don't want to leave in all the moisture in there trapping it in cuddling sleeping and the next morning you wake up smelling like I don't know smelling like what I don't know you understand so it is advisable after in circles as much as it is tempting for you to just cuddle and sleep it is advisable you just jump into the shower wash yourself up and then dry up that place because when you sleep with all those moisture trapped in there it attracts bacteria yeah you heard that right it attracts bacteria and like I said most of the main cause of a stinking down there or a stinking cat or a stinking hoo-ha is as a result of bacteria and bacteria is mostly caused by moisture do you understand me am i making any sense i hope i'm making sense all right then the next point i want to be telling you guys is the kind of soaps you use to wash down there preferable it is advised to use just water because the bacteria the, sorry the, the vagina on its own has bacteria healthy bacteria actually and it has yeah vagina has its own smell or its own odor that is unique to a person but not that that foul smell that smells like some because the 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 the, 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 the ingredients in the soaps can just go and alter the healthy bacteria thereby causing you to start developing some kind of smell or odor or what have you so preferably if you want to use you use like white soap dove and all that but do not use scented soap or scented tiles or those of you who use tiles do not use your wash wash towel that colored wash towel that has dye in it it is not advisable all you need to do is use plain white wash towels or not towel for body your body 
some people use towel down there so your towels down there your wash towels should be pure white because you don't want to have the dye from other colors of towel to get in there and alter anything thereby causing you to smell like whatever causing your down there to smell like what you wouldn't like if you use soap and wash towel that has fragrances it might cause irritation down there and you really might not find it for this so it's advisable do not use soaps with fragrance or that has harmful detergent in it or harmful chemicals in it or wash towel with dye because you would really not like the outcome another tip for you to use to smell good and taste good down below is to use coconut oil more frequently down there yes you heard that right use coconut oil because coconut oil tastes good and smells good coconut oil acts as an anti antibacterial or antiviral and deodorizer yes coconut oil it's so wonderful for your baby down there for your baby girl down there and it is advisable you use it very often inculcate it into your habit to use coconut oil to massage you down below thereby making it smell good taste good and feel good because you will feel good about it when you smell and taste good all right guys and then the next one i'll be telling you guys is to use your sugar scrub i'll be doing a video on how to prepare your sugar scrub because some people do not know how to prepare it sugar scrub is so good when you use your sugar scrub especially in your hair in your pubic hairline your bikini hairline rather, rather your bikini line it really makes you down there to taste of course you know sugar now it leaves the aftertaste in there you use it to scrub it and concentrate on your inner ties and thereby eliminating any residue of bacteria any residue of odor and of course in overall it's gonna leave you smelling and tasting good because how to prepare sugar scrub you use sugar and honey do you understand sugar honey and maybe sometimes you add um what's it called lemon in it i'll be doing that video and i'll be i'll be sharing it with you guys in the future in the nearest future i'll be doing that video and then for the bonus of how to smell good and taste good down below in your baby girl down below the best hygiene her feminine hygiene pack i want to give you you cannot underestimate the power who's that you cannot over, um, underestimate the power of washing your vagina yes you have to learn how to constantly wash your vagina some people don't know don't even know how to wash their baby girl down there they don't even know how to wash their hoo-ha down there some people just pour water and uh, rumble, rumble 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 and they think they have washed you put your hand in there to wash it to give it a thorough wash clean the walls around it to give it thorough wash anyway <laughs> that's just it i don't think i'll be able to start because i don't really don't want youtube to flag this video here so i'm just being cautious of what i am saying in this video or the words the, the, my choice of words so i won't be flagged for this video so you really know how to wash it. and another thing the last but not the least is wipes i i really i in fact i cannot urinate without wipes or at least tissue paper i can't do that because by the time you go to urinate and you wear your pants again without wiping without cleaning up you are not doing anything less than just trying to lock in bacteria in you because one the smell of the urine or the the the, the what when the, the the urine seems to be sometimes if it dries up it becomes a little bit like oily or sticky something like that and then it sticks on your body and you did not clean and even if you cleaned you did not clean it properly you just wear your pants and you have trapped in moisture thereby causing bacteria and yeast and you have no other choice than to smell like like you know now you know how it smells it's, it's awful it stinks you understand and then how you wipe you don't wipe from from back 
to front do you understand that's like taking the bacteria from the front and stuffing them back into your booha and stuffing them back into your baby girl down there no you wipe from front from you take it from front to back this way do you understand you don't bring it this way you bring it this way when you are wiping do you understand do not go to urinate or do not go to the toilet without washing up it makes your who have your baby girl down there to see so guys these are the tips that has been helping me to keep my down there smelling good and tasting good like i can testify to it and i encourage you to to imbibe these few points that i have given to you into your daily routine and you experience that your the scrub you have to you can do it like three times in a week you don't have to be an everyday thing and you will experience the fact that your down there doesn't stink anymore and please for those of you who have tips that i've not mentioned i am open to also learning new tricks because i have just poured out my own tricks my own tips to you guys and i am i know that this video is going to help one or two people those of you who have have one or two tricks or tips that you use to keep your hoo-ha, your vagina tasting and smelling good please drop it in the comment section i would like to learn and i would like to read your comments to know what you have up your sleeve and learn from you guys so guys thank you very much for watching this video and please make sure you share this video with your family your friends and your loved ones because i'm sure there are one or two people out there who would really want to learn and to know how to make themselves smell and taste good all right guys and then if you like this video if you know you have learned one or two things from this video please do well to give this video a huge thumbs up comments drop your comments down below share this video like i've said earlier and do not forget to hit on that red subscribe button if you love me and my tips or you just love my beautiful face or you just want to support me please do well to hit on that red subscribe button and join my family and when you subscribe to my family don't forget to turn on the notification bell so that you will be informed whenever i post a new video like this do not forget to follow me on my social media handle instagram to be precise on vicky underscore marquis i'll be putting the link up here please go on instagram search vicky underscore marquis and hit on the follow button you will see more of me on my instagram page and with that being said i want to say thank you so much for watching my video we have come to the end of this video i will see you guys in my next video bye guys no more stinking hookah no more stinking vagina no more stinking baby girl down there i'll see you guys in my next video thanks guys for watching bye